Well, when you're gonna start machine quilting, you need to have a machine. I thought it would be fun to take you through a series of machines so that you can have some idea, maybe where you're gonna start and where you're gonna end. This is the Kenmore machine that I got from my parents for Christmas when I was 14 years old. Not telling any tales, but that makes this machine 40 years old. And this machine is fabulous. Telling you if I wanna do the best buttonhole ever, this is the machine I come back to every time. But what it can also do is machine quilt. The first probably four or five queen size quilts I ever quilted, free motion and walking foot was on this Kenmore machine. Now I've learned a lot since then. I've also learned the idea about finding the tool to make the job easier. So that's what I'm gonna show you with the other machines. But I wanna show you that with this 40 year old Kenmore, I didn't have an extension table back then. So I just used a stack of coffee table books, books that were heavy enough not to move around too much, but that had a shiny top so that the fabric would slip on it a little bit. I've put my spring foot in, this is the darning foot. And I'm going to show you that I can free motion quilt on this machine. I can do any of the designs that I need to do. The feed dogs are down and I'm just going to free motion quilt. The problem comes in with the space here. I just don't have that much of it. When you work a queen size quilt, a queen size quilt's going to be at 90 inches wide. That means you need to be able to get 45 inches of quilt to the middle. Depending on the thickness of your batting, that can be a little bit tough in a space like this. So we're gonna move down to my next machine. This is the machine that we've been doing all of the work on the Learn to Quilt so far. I love this machine. It has every possible bell and whistle that you can get on the modern day machines. It has a needle up and down. It has a needle threader. It has all the stitches. I don't know, there's gotta be 200 stitches on this machine. I love this machine. This machine also can do all the free motion quilting I need it to do. It can do all the walking foot, all the straight line um, quilting also, but honestly, I don't appreciate it as much as the next machine. When there's all the bells and whistles on a machine, it just means that there's something else you got to tweak, something that can go wrong. With this machine, it is so fabulous for piecing and for making garments. I love it. But when it comes to quilting, I'm gonna to go to this machine. This machine is a very basic, much more industrial machine. It's got one stitch and one stitch only. It does have needle up and down, so the needle will stay down when I want it to. It does have the thread cutter and a needle threader, but it does not have but one stitch. It also has about nine and a half inches of space here. This is the quilt that we've been working on. This is the learning to quilt quilt. This quilt is 70 inches square. I can get all 70 inches of that quilt inside the throat and still have plenty enough room to move around. The truth is, is I never have to get the whole quilt in. I only ever have to get to the middle. So you can see all that space I have. So this type of a machine is gonna be a basic one stitch machine, but it's gonna have that space and it's real intent and purpose in life is to machine quilt, which means it's also gonna be a really strong machine. I hope that this review will help you figure out where you are and where you maybe wanna to get to for the quilting that you're gonna do. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We wouldn't want you to miss a single show. Please share us with your friends and leave a comment. We would really love to hear from you.